Welcome to the Purple Mash for Parents videos. In this video, we're going to look at this brand new tool here called Busy Beats, where your children can experiment with sound and create real music. It can be found either here on the featured panel or via the tools area. If I click on the tools there and scroll down to the bottom right, here it is under the music and sound tools. When you first open up Busy Beats, you have four options. Either you can start with one of these three pre-made examples or you can start by building your own using this empty beat option. Busy Beats allows me to create my own music using ripples and ripplers. When I click on a rippler, it fires a ripple, and when that ripple touches another rippler, that rippler fires its own ripple. The ripples will move back and forth in a loop. I'm now gonna drag some sounds in. I can either start with some of the samples or the synth sounds. Let's start with the samples. I'm gonna build my beat. Let's start with the drum, a bass drum here. Right, that's a nice steady beat. Let's see if we can put in a snare drum as well. A snare drum usually goes on the off beat. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds like a bit of a soca rhythm. Right, excellent. Let's put in a hi-hat. Where am I gonna position my hi-hat? I can change the rhythmic pattern by moving the sounds around. or repositioning the ripplers themselves. I don't like that, I'm gonna put them back where it was. I'm gonna move my hi-hat over here now. Let's put some other sounds in there, perhaps a rise cymbal. If I don't like a sound, I can just drag it off and add something else on. Let's add some, what about some maracas? Oh, sounding good. What about a bit of cowbell? Can never have enough cowbell. If I want to change the sound of one of these samples, I can select it and reverse the sound. That's the sound of my snare reverse. And I can turn the relative volume down of the different items as well. So if I want the cowbell to be a little bit lower in the mix, there we go. Now, if I want it to stop, I can click the shush button. Now it's been recording as I've created that and if I stop that recording, I can then play back what I created as I added the sounds in. I've got my basic drum pattern happening now. I now want to add the bass and the synthesizers and some other sounds in there. So I'm going to use these synth sounds. Off we go. And I'm gonna use one of these lower notes down here, either the C2, D2, etc. You can scroll up and see higher notes up there. But I'm gonna start with my bass note, the C2, and I'm gonna place that around about my bass drum. So it's happening at the same time as my kick drum. I can change the waveform on these as well. You can hear the different synth sounds happening. I like that first one. Let's turn the gain up a little bit and make it a slightly longer note. Right, let's add in some other notes. Let's think about a chord, C, E and G. Let's try uh, an E it's a bit higher up. So this is section A of my piece of music and I can rename that. I might make that verse one. And I'm gonna add a separate section to this and this is gonna be called the chorus. I've just copied that exactly from verse one to the chorus, it's exactly the same. And I'm gonna make some minor changes to it now so that it's a slightly different beat and it's a slightly different chord sequence that I'm using. Now, if I want to record my entire piece of music, I'm gonna press the record button here. There we go, and I can play that back by pressing the play button. Another thing you can do with Busy Beats is explore chord sequences. I'm gonna see if I can create a backing track for the song Stand By Me, which uses the chords G, E minor, C, and D. First of all, I've created a G chord, which consists of the notes G, B, and D. Let's play that to see how that sounds. Excellent. Let's see if we can create the next chord, which is E minor. I'm going to add a section down at the bottom here using this plus and change this to E minor. Now the notes in the chord E minor start off with an E in the bass. Let's use my piano over here to change that to an E. And then I have a G. 
and lastly at the top a B so I can leave that B there or I can change it to a slightly higher B. Let's add on the next two chords in this song. The chord C consists of a C in the bass and then an E and a G and lastly let's add the chord D and the chord D consists of D, F sharp and A. So there we have my chord sequence for Stand By Me. Now what I need to do is add my drum rhythm. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the universal mode at the bottom here, which will mean that anything I drag onto my piece of music in my first section will copy exactly across to all of the other sections on my piece of music. So I've now added a kick drum and some hand claps onto my piece of music. Let's play that and see how that sounds. Now the last thing I want to do with my piece of music is to have a play with the effects that I can add onto the synths and sample sounds that will change the texture of the music. There are eight different effects that you can explore such as auto wah, reverb, delay, phaser, distortion. You can also decide how far you want these particular effects to spread in your piece of music and change some of the other options here. Right now when I'm happy with my sound I can start my recording and sing over the top of it. Here we go. Whenever you're in trouble, won't you stand by me? Oh, stand by me. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. Now, when I'm really happy with that, I can press the save button. And if I want my friends to be able to play my music, use the drop down menu and share it to my class display board or I could blog about it as well. So let's click on my class display board. I'm going to add that to the year two display board. So if I come out of Busy Beats now and want to have a look at that piece of music once my class teacher has approved it, I can go to the sharing tab at the top here, go down to the display board that I sent it to. And here is my piece of music that my friends can play. What could you create with Busy Beats? Maybe you could start with one of these pre-made dance tunes or the slow groove, for example, and have a go and get creative. Have fun.